become the Rockular Network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Ubuntu 14.10. That is the name it has given the topic Unicorn. You can install VirtualBox and VMware also. And you can install server, desktop and laptop also with the help of pen drivable and do see DVD. You need to make a bootable. So we need to be make a bootable of pen drive or else DVD to install all the thing. So the part of the features is came is here. This is the default desktop is came and Thunderbird update, Firefox updates in detail. I will show you here here is the detail issue. Updates are the tunnel updated, Firefox 33, Thunderbird client 33. Uh, library office 4.320 as default only php 5.2 python 3.4 and unity interface 7.3 genome kde made this is a feature of the day which is 14.0 some other same only in 14.0 for only uh, so minimum requirement for this installation of uh, 1 to 14.10 is you need to have 1 gigabyte processor and 1.5 gigabyte of ram you need to have 1.5 gb ram you need to have 7 gb to 15 gb of disk space free and graphic card 1024 user 76 and this is the download links where you are going to download virtual box workstation i will say image of one to let me show you all this thing. open google and type virtual box this is the website of your virtual box click on this download link you will come on the uh, website of virtual box this is the version 4.318 where you can download this supported windows solari linux just download here here are the links you can download and install virtual box for vmware just open the VMware workstation type in Google and this is the link of your latest version 10 so click on this link and you will become on to the download page okay so this is your uh, Mac OS uh, pen drive make pen drive bootable how to make <coughs> so here is your um, how to make workstation Windows 10 point this is a supported Windows 5 Linux and 32 bit and 64 bit supported here is your um, uh, pen drive bootable how to make this is the website uh, and for this download ubuntu here is the ubuntu download 14.10 where you can download ubuntu means this is the link here i will tell you how to download means this is the desktop image supported and this is for uh, intel supported so this 32 bit and this is 64 bit and this is for uh, enter supported for amd processor you can download here server installation and this is for your um, 32 bit supported and this is 64 bit supported both are say server in installation this is server installation and this is your yeah. so this is your 32 bit supported and 64 bit this is intel and this is amd process and this is intel the 32 bit supported this is amd 64 bit supported for server installation this is desktop installation just scroll down you will find a uh, torrent also link where you can download this and this is all those in general one. just don't i have downloaded 64 bit for and this one this one i have the desktop i have downloaded for 64 bit yeah, amd so let me show you how to do where i have done. so here is a 14 ubuntu 14 point in your desktop uh 32 bit which i have downloaded uh, the size is 1.10 gb which i have downloaded let me show you how to install your virtual box just open your virtual box and click to new so just open uh, click on new type ubuntu and give a version and give my 10 select your 64 bit or 32 bit select in 60 32 bit click next assign the ram as is recommended 5 to lmb is given so i am assigned double of it click to play it now next next this is your hard disk size which i am giving at least 25 gb and this is the location where is going to store your and install your uh, ubuntu 14.010 that is that means there is one hard disk so i am changing this location So after that just click to create now and then go to settings so click to system unchecked lobby and then go to storage assign your 
just assign your ISO image where you have downloaded just click on it and this is my Ubuntu 14.10 which I have downloaded for desktop double click to assign go to network assign bridge adapter to access the internet click ok press to start now so select the language which uh, language you belong which language you want to install with uh, change the language and press continue to install English uh, this is the other try Ubuntu without installation or you want to install in hard disk means second option check the disk before installation test the memory boot from the first hard disk means you can select we are going to install the Ubuntu now you can select the press enter you can select the first option try Ubuntu now so now we welcome the screen as you can see install as super user so here is your language before you continue you select which language you want click to continue now it's preparing to install ubuntu it's showing this great right, right right mark is showing this one sorry, one gb is available connect to internet plugin process download if you want update during the installation if you want third party you can check the box or else you can uncheck click to continue now in this installation type it's showing as a erase the disk or install ubuntu that means it will be erase uh, other operating system if you have already installed like linux ubuntu if you have installed in this one that will be it, it, that will be formatted and install only ubuntu if you check this uh, any corrupted new ubuntu uh, installation for security means it will be installed with two security key security key with next steps and this will be installed lvm along with ubuntu if you want something else like if you want if you have a linux already in your uh, operating system in your system or else if you have a already windows in the system you want to install along with ubuntu means select this option something else select this option for that one or if you want to have manually assigned partition means select this something else option this it is this it will do automatically create partition and will be uh, installed automatically so click to continue install now so it's showing this if this partition has been created partition on ptm partition 5 sds extension 4 and swap to partition has been created and for that one click to continue or else you can go back and do the changes you come back so where you are showing click continue select the time zone and press continue need to select this keyboard layout language select the keyboard language or detect the keyboard language also you can press so it will detect automatically so according to your language select the keyboard uh, need to give a name and giving ubuntu and then this is a full computer name virtual box and giving a pickup username that will be logging along with that one so you need to assign the password please remember this password and confirm the same password and you can check automatic login also does not require login at the time of password if you can check this password no, required my password to login means it will be asked for password to login and login so click for the continue now it's installing and copying the files just you check this box it will show you or else you can skip this one now installation has been completed we need to reboot now click to restart now now the installation is completed you can see on the screen this is ubuntu 14.0 desktop uh, to make a full screen on this your desktop just click on device and click insert the guest edition and click to force a mount we need to install this uh, the device to make a full screen to make a full screen just click on device and go to install guest edition and click for force to mount this after installing uh, you can have a full screen also here you can see there is mine just after opening uh, as you can see run the software yeah, click to run
give a password during installation we have given the password assign this password authenticate click to authenticate and now it's installing guest edition building range you can see this is your version virtual box 4.312 latest version installing guest edition after the completion we can access this full screen